Welcome back friends. Anytime we get into a new sport or hobby there's always new equipment to buy. And let's admit that's part of the fun to doing this. And backpacking is not going to be any different than anything else. There's going to be some essential things you're going to have to buy. Obviously you're going to need a backpack to carry all your stuff in. You're going to need some sort of sleep system, you know a sleeping pad and a, and a, a down quilt or a synthetic bag or, or whatever. You're also going to need some sort of shelter, and that can be anything from a $8 blue tarp you get from Home Depot strung between two trees with some paracord, or you can go buy a nice one or two man tent or just an inexpensive one man bivy. The other piece of essential gear that you're going to need is a cook kit. And there is a million different ways to put together a cook kit. You can make it yourself, you can buy it. But one thing I can tell you about cook kits is really no two are the same. Everybody personalizes theirs differently to suit their particular needs. Some guys like titanium, like me. I like titanium. This is my cook kit here, my little snow peak. It is good uh, for a lot of things. It does have some problems. I'm working on some of those right now. And uh, then you have something like this, little Stanley stainless cook kit. I've been seeing this particular cook kit just about everywhere from Target to REI, Walmart, Gander Mountain, whatever, and I'm always picking it up and going, you know, how do they do that for that kind of money? I take it apart and you know, messing with the handle and looking at all this stuff. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know how they do that. So, Finally, after a few years of doing that, I said, just give me the damn thing. So I went up to the register and paid for it. So now I got it home, playing with it like a new toy, and I'm going, I can build a badass cook kit out of this. I know I can. So let's see what we got. So this thing is going to run you, depending on where you buy it. I can tell you I was in REI today. It's 25 bucks at REI. But not so much at Target, Walmart, or anywhere else. This thing's $14.97 over at Walmart. $14.97, I mean, you know, that's the price of a good barbecue meal with a Dr. Pepper, so I'm going, I'm in. So out I walked with this one. First thing I'll tell you about it, I like this little locking handle it has. Locks in position here, flips over, locks in position, keep all your stuff together. You got a nice lid uh, with a cap lifter that stays upright, stays in place, so it's easy to grab. It's got some strain holes here for ventilation. Also, if you want to strain some, some stuff, you're boiling some water for some pasta or something, you can strain it right there in the pot. It comes with two 10-ounce insulated mugs. Uh, personally, um, not going to work for me for a couple reasons. Number one, they're heavy. Number two is they're only 10 ounces. And I like to usually make my drinks a little bigger than that. So we're going to put these aside and see what else we can come up with on this pot. Now you can see I've got this huge pot. It says, actually the specs say it's uh, 24 ounces, but the mark right here is 20 ounces. 24 is only going to put it to there. You got all this, so I'm going to say this thing is close to a 30 ounce pot, probably around 28, 28 ounces or something like that. So you can do a lot of things with that. The other thing I like about it, it does have some graduation marks in it. You can see right there, and that's really important, especially if you're cooking, um, you know, a mountain house meal, maybe one or two, plus you're making a couple cups of coffee, say you and your wife, you can do everything right here in this pot. So how can I put this together? Well, let's say you're a canister guy. Why? Because I am. I'm going to take the canister, rather than put it in here like this, I'm going to put it in here this way. And the reason is, if you'll notice, this is really tapered here. And if I put this down there like that, it's only going to come here and I'm going to have all that wasted space. So I'm going to flip this thing upside down. Hey, it fits in there really nice. That's important to me because I am a canister guy and I like all my stuff to nest. I have a ton of room left in here. And... Uh, I really like the MSR Pocket Rocket. It's a great stove, but it's a little heavy. It's a little bulky. Uh, it fits in almost nothing that, that I, can, I can get it into. And I've since switched to a, a stove 
called the BRS 3000 and I did a video on that. I'll link it below for you. This is an awesome little little stove I got off of Amazon. They are $13.95 plus free shipping as of today. I'm not going to put it all together for you but you can if you'll go to my video you'll see how this thing works. Uh, this little stove right here uh, yeah there's a lot of um, knockoffs and there's a lot of Chinese stoves on Amazon but this particular one here has really been showing up on all the big through hikes the you know the Appalachian Trail uh, the PCT um, just just everywhere and with great reviews $13.95 with free shipping it's an awesome little thing check out my review on it so I can put that in there so I've got my fuel I've got my uh, stove I can put in my Tox collapsible spork I've got my mini bic lighter I've got a little scrub pad to clean things up with if I want to I can even carry some camp suds in here a little piece of camp towel and off we go this locks right back over in place keeps everything nice and tidy really like it what are we missing well missing a mug remember got rid of this we're gonna have to replace it with something how about let's go get us a GSI you can get these just about anywhere it's gonna run you about 12 12.95 but a couple doors down from where this lives on the shelf you're gonna find this also same size, same handles, same capacity, same weight, $4.95. $12.95, $4.95. Think I'm gonna go with this one. So now, you got once again a nesting cook kit. Put your Ranger Band. I'm a fan of Ranger Bands. Got one of my cook kit and you're good to go. Pocket rocket out of the way. What else can we do? Let's say you're not a fuel canister guy. Not a canister stove guy. What else can we do? Alcohol stove. Transia. Everybody seen this? Plus there's a ton of DYI alcohol stoves on there do it yourself DIY I should say so you got that got my ever new titanium cross hot stand the thing I don't have in here is my windscreen but it just it rolls around in here it'll, it'll fit in there once again got my spork got my fuel got my sponge soap mini bic Still got tons of room where I can throw, you know, all my spices, uh, sweetener for my coffee, even my coffee. If you're carrying the little small Folgers or the the Starbucks ones, so there you are. And you know, you just got a really cheap, or I'm not gonna say cheap. I'm gonna say an inexpensive cook kit for one, possibly two. So let's you know let's let's add that up. We're talking about 15 bucks for this. Another five for that makes it 20. Another 14 here makes it 34. Another four bucks here, let's just say five, makes it 39. Your mini bit makes it 40. Sport from Academy dollar so 41 bucks you know you got your complete cook kit one other thing I want to show you about this it makes it even more sweet remember I was telling you I really like this lid I like it even more here fits perfectly on this so let's say you uh, you had lunch been a couple three hours you got a few more miles to hike but it's getting kind of chilly you want to stop for a rest and you want to maybe a cup of soup just a cup of coffee you don't need to get the big it out 
put your water in there, put the top on so it heats up a little quicker, you're good to go. Once again, 41 bucks or even less if you do a alcohol stove or a, a DIY alcohol stove. There's just a lot of things to do. You can add, subtract to this kit any way you want. You can add a Sea to Summit collapsible bowl if you need that. Problem here. 16 bucks at REI. But, about three doors down from where this one lives on the shelf, you can get a knockoff of this for about six bucks. So, just saying. Next time you have some time, go into Walmart. They're all different. Uh, I go to three different ones on a pretty regular basis, depending on where I am in town. Their camping department is all different, but they have so much stuff there, you just wouldn't believe. Mountain House, I can't get single servings at my REI. The only single serving they have is breakfast skillet, and that's great, but that everything else is two-person serving. Well, one, I don't need to spend nine bucks on that. Number two, this is only $4.97, and that's all I need. Or, I'm sorry, $4.86. It's the cheapest place you can buy the Mountain House retail is going to be at Walmart. They only carry the single servings, but they have all the, the favorites, uh, plus the breakfast skillet. So they've got about four or five uh, entrees in the breakfast skillet. So, but you can find so many things there, you just wouldn't believe. Just like I found, uh, you know, this mug, this cook kit, uh, this spork, uh, knockoff of this. Just watch how you spend your money and don't discount Walmart. Speaking of the great Wally world, let's say you actually do some cooking rather than just heating up water. And everybody's seen this, the GSI Pinnacle Duelist. It's a nice little cook kit. Got a pot, you get two bowls with two lids, get some sporks, you get this uh, basin, this rubberized basin slash uh, stuff sack that'll hold water. You can use it for cleanup or going to fetch water from the stream or whatever. And they are awesome, aren't they? And uh, the only problem is this is the Ozark Trails version that you get at Walmart. And if you go to REI and buy the GSI Pinnacle Duelist, it's $54.95. And it's about the same price over at Gander Mountain. GSI stuff's great. Um, but to tell you the truth, the boxes even almost look the same on this. So, when I was at REI, I took the uh, GSI one apart. It looks, feels, everything is identical. Even the weight, this weighs the same. So let me just show you what you get here. And, you're not going to believe the price. 15 bucks versus 54 bucks. So you can go buy three of these versus one at your uh, local outfitter. So GSI stuff's pretty cool. This is the Ozark Mountain version. You have a, uh, this has a plastic lid with a uh, rubberized uh, seal around it so it fits pretty tight. Also has straining holes for ventilation and straining. Like I said, it comes with two bowls and they're insulated bowls. So there's a couple things you can do with them. Number one, um, they're pretty heavy. Like I said, they are insulated, but they do come apart. So you can do two things. You can carry just half of it with the cozy if you're gonna be eating a lot of hot food and it's gonna be too hot for your hands. Or you can just carry this one along, okay? Or you can just carry one of these if it's just you or if it's two people and then you just pull it apart and you can uh, you can use both the bowls. It comes with a nice lid and the lids fit on there really nice. Oops. Get two of them. Hard anodized, non-stick, just like the GSI, both made in China, both weigh the same. If I was a betting man, but I'm not, I would guess they're both made in the same factory. So, you just have to decide. But, 
for three times the price, I'm looking to uh, get into a bigger cook set, this is the way I'm going to go. I'm not going to use it that much anyway, and for $15, what do you have to lose? Once again, you got a nice locking lid on the top. Got plenty of room, both bowls, you can really store a lot of stuff in there. If you didn't want to do a solo cook kit, man, your stove, fuel, everything, you can put everything in here plus some food. Locks over just like this, sorry, did it wrong again. And you get this wash basin, it's rubberized, kind of a stuff sack program. Of course I snag it. And you get a couple little sporks, which you know I'd leave here. So I could drop the weight on this thing really quick, um, just carrying stuff. But I'm just I'm just pointing out you can save some money here, 15 bucks versus 55. That's kind of what I'm all about. This here, another 15 bucks. I can really build it up, nice and neat, for uh, you know 41 bucks. And if I want to upgrade later on, say I want to get rid of my stainless steel mug. A 425 ml, I'm sorry, a 450 ml uh, Snow Peak titanium mug, single wall, fits right in there, really nice. So say you want to upgrade, just put that on your Santa wish list, or just go buy it for yourself. You got a lot of options here, folks, is all I'm trying to tell you. Don't spend a whole ton of money on things if you don't have to. Same shelf where this stuff lives. Instead of buying the Sea to Summit collapsible mug or bowl, this is a large version. And uh, 16 bucks at REI. They've got some knockoffs for about six bucks over there at, uh, yep, at Walmart. So there you have it, guys. Make it your own. Cook kits are fun to build. Don't think you have to break the bank. Spend all your money here. Save some money. Put it into your pack. That's really important, as are some of the other items, but just kind of chill out, go to Walmart, stand back and look at the shelves, and you're going to find some things that uh, will kind of surprise you. So let me know what you think. Till next time, hope you guys stay safe, and we'll see you out on the trail. Adios.